Hello everyone, welcome to Cinema Flicks. Today I'm going to explain a 2023 romance comedy movie called Puppy Love. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie began with a girl named Nicole is woken up by an alarm, reluctant to get ready for work. However, she still pushes through and leaves for work in haste. As she drives to work, her boyfriend Sean calls her to remind. Their date later, she declines because of her sister's engagement dinner. He believes she's not capable of loving someone. Nicole apologizes. In other hand, we also see a guy, Max. He trying to get a coffee on his way to work. His mother calls him and she's surprised to hear a lady's voice. She hopes it's his girlfriend. Max is embarrassed because the employee can hear their discussion immediately. He ends the call, gets his coffee and drives off. Meanwhile, Nicole is still on the phone with Sean. However, she's not paying attention to him. Max heads to work motivated. His friend Sid, who's also his boss, calls him to find out if he has been able to deal with his anxiety issues. Max tries to lie, saying he's already stepped out of his car. But one of the staff already revealed that his car is parked outside. Moreover, he can also see his car from his window cycling through the parking lot. Sid tries to understand him. He believes that social anxiety is serious, but he will not be able to continue making excuses for himself at work. Max admits he still needs more time to figure out his issues, and needs to see his therapist. Upon arriving home, Max does a virtual session with his therapist, and explains how he is not able to step out of the car and go to his office because he still finds it difficult to relate with people. She feels like they need to try another method. She suggests pet therapy, suggesting he can make an emotional connection with the dog which can help him learn how to connect with people. Max, who feels like it will not work, he believes having a dog will not solve his issues. After his therapist encouragement, Max finally agrees to do it. Meanwhile, Nicole finally gets to work after a long drive. She's on the phone with her friend Shay, informing her that Sean broke up with her. Also, Nicole has a lot of other things to focus on rather than her breakup. Still, she wants to know how to create a profile on a dating app. Nicole meets her pregnant boss, Stacy, at work and she tries to rearrange the furniture in their office. However, her boss suggests she replace her on a project she's hired to do, because she will soon be on maternity leave. Nicole is pleasantly surprised. Since this offer also counts as a promotion, she promises to give it her best. Later, Nicole gets home and sees a dog at the trash stand. She wonders who the owner is because the dog looks hungry and dirty. The dog approaches her, thinking she wants to give him her snacks, but she stops him because she has nowhere to keep him. She also can't be bothered right now since she will attend her sister's engagement dinner later. Back to Max. He visits visits a veterinary clinic to get a dog. A man assists him in choosing the best one. Max does not like the first dog presented to him because he believes it will be aggressive. Eventually, he finds one that's cute and gentle, and decides to adopt it. After he takes the dog home, he tries to get familiar with it. He names her Chloe and expresses how he hopes they will become friends. To establish an emotional connection with Chloe, he shows her his office at home, what he likes, and everything she needs to know about him. Meanwhile, Nicole visits her mom. She sees her mom making dinner. Nicole's sister and her fiancé joined them too. Her sister introduces her fiancé to her and shows her the engagement ring. Nicole is surprised to see that she's wearing her mother's ring. Her mother believes that since Nicole is not serious about relationships, then her younger sister should have it. At dinner, Nicole discusses her new promotion at work. However, her mother does not like her job. She believes she's a talented artist who chooses useless job instead of going to art school. Same with her sister. But Nicole tries to defend herself, claiming she loves her job. Also, she wonders why they're having this discussion at dinner with her sister's fiancé. Back to Max, we see him trying to get some sleep with Chloe. Unfortunately, Chloe seems to be missing her former home. In the next scene, Nicole meets up with Shay at a bar. Naturally, they party and drink. Afterward, Nicole searches for a one-night stand for her. Any good-looking guy at the bar will do. Shay can only hope that Nicole will see how desperate she is. Meanwhile, Max wakes up to Chloe's barking. Turns out the dog is not able to sleep because her teddy bear is missing. After this, Nicole sends a message to Sean using her phone while texting. She sees the dog from before again. Concerned, she plans to take him in for the night. She thinks the dog needs a bath, so she gives him one. After that, she dries his hair and notices that the dog looks like Channing Tatum, so she named the dog Same. The next day, Nicole started to find the dog's real owner. Later, she takes the dog to see a veterinarian. After conducting a general checkup on him, the vet believes he's in good shape. He also discovers that he has already been neutered, so the vet suggests she sell him or take him to an animal shelter if there's no buyer, but he feels like the dog will not be cared for properly at a shelter, so he still urges Nicole to reconsider. And the next scene, Max takes Chloe for a walk outside. During their walk, he sees a 
another man walking his dog. The man tries to strike up a conversation but Max's social anxiety issues barged in. Things don't turn out too well. Back to Nicole, her friend, visiting her to discuss about the new project. While they are still discussing, Channing tries to pee in her flower vase. Nicole stops him in time and takes him outside. Later, Max is in another virtual therapy session with his therapist, and Chloe is there too. She's glad he's improving and suggests he get a real girlfriend. As the next step, she wants him to go on a random date while Chloe is assisting him. After taking Channing for a walk, she takes pictures with him and posts them on her dating app profile. Max also finishes setting up his dating profile. He's hoping this task will help him. Nicole goes through her dating app to check for a suitable match. Match. Max's profile pops up and she sees him and his dog Chloe. She decides to click on him, thinking that she also found a potential partner for Channing. Max also checks for his match with Chloe and when he sees Nicole's profile, he believes she's out of his league. He believes she's his opposite when it comes to being social while trying to make a decision. Chloe assists him by swiping for him. After accepting Nicole's invite for a date, Max starts feeling anxious, hoping the date will work out. Later, he meets up with his friend Sid to assist him in preparing for his date. Regardless, he is willing to assist him in any way he can. Max is willing to give these suggestions a try. On the date, Max tries his best and does everything that his friend suggests he do, but Nicole finds it weird. Fortunately, Chloe and Channing taught him get along pretty well. After they go on a walk, Nicole suggests she gets them lunch. She decides to buy some spicy chicken because she believes it will help bring out Max's authentic side. Max refuses to eat, but after persuading him, he eventually gives in. She wants to know more about him, and Max wants to know more about her too. Engrossed in the date, they forget about their dogs. Funny enough, they find the dogs making out. Max gets irritated by the scene, separates them immediately. He blames Nicole for what's happening. Nicole also becomes enraged, and the two end up saying nasty things to each other. And Thats ends up with delete numbers each other. The date become a disaster. Suddenly the spicy chicken takes a toll on Max's stomach. He goes to a nearby restroom. Upon getting there, he has no choice but to use it. This experience causes him to degradate. He'll never date again. On the bright side, Max and Chloe are now closer than ever. She has become his best friend, someone he shares everything with. Nicole and Channing have also gotten closer. She sees him as his great companion. Max is gradually getting over his anxiety issues with Chloe's influence. Nicole eventually decides to keep chanting after no one showed up to claim him. She also couldn't find anyone who wanted to buy him. In the next scene, Nicole meets with her new client Hunter, who offer a tour through his house. Nicole shows him her interior design for his house. He likes them and wants her to start working on it. Aside from her designs, he also finds her attractive and wants to take her on a date. Meanwhile, Max finds out that Chloe is sick since she has not been eating well lately. However, he decides to visit his parents first. Max and Chloe visit his parents and they're delighted to see him. They also like Chloe, but Max reveals she has been acting weird lately. His mother decides to check on her and thinks that the dog could be pregnant. Max is hoping she's wrong. Meanwhile, Nicole goes on a date with Hunter and she finds she finds him weird, but they eventually get along. She receives a call from a stranger who happens to be Max, revealing that Chloe might be pregnant. Taken aback, she believes Channing is not responsible because she knows he has been neutered. After arguing, they failed to agree on what to do with Chloe's pregnancy. Meanwhile, Hunter feels like she is neglecting him, so he decides to leave and remind her that their relationship is work-related and nothing more. Max then sends her a description of how to get to the veterinary clinic if she wants to. The next day, Nicole decides to confirm if Channing is responsible for Chloe's pregnancy. During this visit, Nicole and Max remain hostile towards each other. The veterinarian checks Channing in revealing that there's a probability that he's responsible for his pregnancy. He also checks Chloe to confirm her pregnancy. Nicole leave the place. Feeling annoyed, Max tells to that Chloe is indeed pregnant. He also mentions Nicole, left angrily without sharing the bill with him. Still, Max plans to take care of Chloe till she gives birth. He wants her to feel comfortable. Meanwhile, Nicole talks with her friend Shay Phone. She reveals she worried for Channing because he has been acting docile. She blames herself, believing it will be difficult to get along with Max after their disaster date. Shay thinks she's being reluctant because she likes him. Nicole disagrees, and her friend suggests she give Channing a chance to be a responsible father. Convinced, she decides to give it a try. While Max tries to have a virtual meeting with one of his clients, he receives a message from Nicole who up to meet up. They eventually meet up, and this time around, Nicole and Max 
tried to get along as much as possible because of Chloe and Channing. They think of a way to make Chloe and Channing spend enough time with each other. Eventually, they agree to a place where they can meet for playdates, without invading each other's privacy. In the next scene, Nicole watches videos online on how to make a pregnant dog feel comfortable, while Max, on the other hand, reads about a similar topic. The two then agree on where to meet for Chloe and Channing's first playdate. Nicole and Max visit a park and she's surprised he has never been to one before. Since it's his first time there, Max is easily amazed by the surroundings. Later, Nicole receives a warning note from her landlord because she violated the tenancy agreement regarding having a dog. The landlord wants her to get rid of her dock. Victim reaches out to Max and he decides to assist her by housing Chanting at his place. Later, she visits him, bringing along Channing. She expresses appreciation for his generosity. Nicole, being her usual self, scatters Chiller with toys all over his place backs. Max, who doesn't like this, tries to tolerate her as much as possible for the sake of Chloe. Later, Max tries to get some sleep, but can't since Channing is restless, missing Nicole. He reaches out to Nicole on the phone and suggests she come over to his place. Nicole joins them and Channing is delighted to see her. They eventually manage to get some good night's sleep. The next day, Max comes back. After taking a walk, he's surprised to see how Nicole has turned his house upside down. Max freaks out but tries to not lash out at her. He decides to go for another walk. After the walk, he sees Nicole decides to leave for her friend's place. Max apologizes to her and let know her he has issues which he's trying to work out. He revels that's his last relationship did not work out because she cheated on him and he contracted a virus from her. When he was in quarantine for a long time, Max started believing he's better off on his own. He also believes he's lame, but Nicole understands how he feels and tries to encourage him. She believes he's a good person. Max is happy someone finally understands him, and then she hugs him, but he mistakenly kisses her chin. They exchange awkward apologies shortly after. Even though Nicole is not good with house chores, she is willing to assist him in cooking. Later, Max gets out of the shower to look for his towel. Surprisingly, Nicole comes in and sees him, causing him to feel embarrassed. Nicole lets him know she finds him attractive, while suggesting him to look the door next time. This is when Max finally realizes that he'll have to adjust to a life with with his new housemates. Later, Max gets food for Chloe and Channing. He thinks her art is good and suggests she do it professionally. However, she's simply not willing to. She returns the question to him. He then plays the keyboard as he sings, trying to make her believe he does not have a great voice, which is why he's not doing it professionally. Nicole reveals she wishes to study art but she could not because of her father's passing. She then requests he play her a real song but he declines. It seems they are now more comfortable around each other. Later, Max and Nicole play games together and also purchase pet accessories for Chanting and Chloe. However, while together Max tries to make Nicole a better person. He stops her from vaping, and rather than complaining, he cleans the house when she scatters it. Meanwhile, Nicole tries to get a dog session for Channing and Chloe, while Max searches for a suitable university for Nicole. They are now getting used to each other. Nicole continues to work on her project, while Max, who is now overcoming his social anxiety, through hangs out with Nicole and her friends. Nicole, on the other hand, no longer goes to parties like before, Overall, Nicole and Max enjoy each other's company, and they are having a positive impact on each other. It also seems like they are falling in love, but they won't admit it just yet. In the next scene, Max eventually resumes work making Sid glad. He admits that he planned to sack him, because he felt he would not get over his issues. That's no longer the case. Nicole and Max decided to take Chloe and Channing for a doggy llama's session. While she's trying to make Channing feel comfortable with his collar, he manages to tie it around Nicole and Max. They find it funny and they almost kiss, but Nicole's phone rings, reminding her of the dog session. While Nicole finds the doggy llama's session interesting, Max thinks it's boring. The teacher, however, persuades them into a role play. The teacher even mistakes Max and Nicole for a couple. After the class, a woman tries to harass Max, accusing him of being a dog breeder, but Nicole defends him. Later, Nicole tries to look beautiful for him, and hopes they can get to hang out in a bar. But Max declines, because he's not sure if he's ready to hang out in a bar. Nicole leaves, feeling disappointed. Afterwards, Hunter shows up at the bar, and Nicole tries to hide from him. She reveals she's the one who texted him their location. Nicole wishes she had not done that. Her friend is surprised to see her changed. Unfortunately, Hunter sees her and approaches them. He thanks her for assisting him in selling his house. He believes it's a cause for celebration. Hunter sings for her, and they eventually get drunk. At one point, Hunter kisses her, but she stops him, realizing she's actually in love with Max. After getting drunk, she decides to take Hunter to Max's house, insisting he should not touch anything so Max doesn't wake up. Unfortunately, Max wakes up and he's surprised to see her with Hunter. Nicole introduces Hunter, but the jealous Max finds it difficult to understand why Nicole is bringing Hunter to his house. A drunk Hunter tries to touch Max's things, and while Max tries to stop him, he ends up hitting him in the process. 
Tell Nicole then tells Hunter to leave before things get more complicated. Nicole apologizes to Max, furious. Max exclaims how she is incapable of changing, and they get into another big argument. They both reveal how they have been trying to tolerate each other and end up hurting themselves in the process. Nicole and Maxie Channing listening to their conversation, and discover Chloe is missing. Max goes out to look for her, and Nicole tries to help, but he instead blames her for the situation. He leaves in a fit of rage. Max searches for Chloe and hopes he will find her. Nicole also feels bad and hopes Max will find Chloe. Even while it's raining, he searches everywhere, until he finally finds her. Later, Max goes back home with Chloe and he's surprised to see Nicole still at his place. He wants her to leave with Channing, even she's aware that she might be evicted from her house because of the dock. Max couldn't care less. While Nicole is heartbroken, she plans to come back for her luggage later in the next scene. Nicole wishes things did not end that way between them. Max also admits that he misses her because Chloe keeps carrying her stuff all over his place, indicating that she misses her too. Most importantly, the dogs also miss one another. Later, Nicole takes Channing for a walk and receives a message. She has invited for an interview in the university she applied to. Overjoyed, she wishes to share the good news with Max, but she thinks he is still mad at her. Meanwhile, Max is in a video call with Sid, who is disappointed because Max is relapsing to his old self. Max believes it's better if he's alone because he feels like Nicole cheated on him just like his ex did. Sid tries to make him understand that Nicole did not cheat because she's not aware that Max loves her. Max admits that his life might be better with Nicole around, so Sid suggests he let her know how he really feels about her. Meanwhile, Nicole is talking to Shay while they drink at her place. Nicole feels like chanting is better off without her, believing she's selfish. She believes that since Nicole lost her dad, she has set boundaries that are affecting her relationship with people. The next day, Max's doorbell rings and he's surprised to see a package outside his house. This happens to be chanting with an apology note on his neck. Nicole also shows up wanting to talk. She apologizes for overstepping her boundaries and admits that she regrets it. Nicole reveals she's scared of losing someone she loves. Still, Max doesn't mention how he really feels about her. Nicole assumes he's not in love with her, so they decide to remain friends. Later, she takes Max to a bar after undenounced to him. She signed him up for an open mic show. Max complains about the guy performing. Surprisingly, they call him up to sing and of course he is petrified. However, with Nicole's encouragement, he decides to do it during his performance. The audience can't help but be amazed. In the next scene, Nicole gets ready for her interview. Max offers to drive her to the interview. On their way, they discover Chloe is in labor, and Nicole decides to give up her interview to take Chloe to a nearby veterinary clinic. They do not manage to get there in time, so they try to assist Chloe in her delivery. Max stops at a field. Nicole searches for YouTube videos relating to the situation. Situation. Eventually, they manage to help. Chloe gives birth to her puppies. Later, they watch and name Chloe's puppies. Feeling proud to be grandparents, Max brings up her missed interview, hoping she will be able to reschedule it. Nicole doesn't think it's that big of a deal, and she responds with the classic, everything happens for a reason. After they sleep, Max, being the first to wake up, can no longer hide his true feelings. They kiss passionately, but the dogs keep distracting them. Later, she's surprised to receive a message from the university, informing her about her admission. Max already Already knows this. He reveals that he assisted her by submitting virtual details of all her artworks. Also, Max suggests they organize a party to celebrate. This shocks Nicole because she knows he does not like to party. To further impress her, Max also wants her to move in with him. At the party, they invite all their friends and family along with their dogs. Finally, through the help of their dogs, Max can overcome his anxiety. They started to celebrate the night and the movie end. That was all from the video. Subscribe to Cinema Flicks for more content like this. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie until next time. I'm the narrator of the Cinema Flicks and I wishing you Merry Christmas.